Well, another event that went forward this summer with lots of precaution was the Tennessee Junior Sheep Exposition held at Tennessee Tech University. And our summer intern, Jerome Lanier, put this package together for us. I think it's very important that it is happening for the sheep industry, not only the sheep industry, but our kids as well. The youth of 4-H uh, and FFA that are actually getting to participate this weekend. We are following all CDC recommended guidelines and we're doing our best to social distance and wear masks and things like that. So I believe that it's, it's extremely important that we've held this event. The kids have worked hard all summer long, you know, since these lambs were born in the winter and, and last year. For us to have this show, it's really like lightened up my eyes because I was like super down. I was like, man, I put a lot of these, a lot of hard work into these animals and I've worked with them day in and day out and then I would have nowhere to showcase them. But since we've had this show, this is one of our biggest shows. So I was super excited that we could still have it and it just means a lot to me to be able to showcase my hard work. Anytime I have the opportunity to travel and work with 4-H and FFA kids and in the youth livestock program, if I'm able to, I'd love to jump on the opportunity to do that. I mean, I have a passion for uh, working with these kids, I have a passion for the youth livestock organizations with 4-H and FFA, and, and it's just an honor to be asked to judge, especially a show of this magnitude. It's amazing that they put this show together in such, such short notice, and after all this pandemic and quarantine and all this, they've really come out with a great show to let all the exhibitors get to show, because not all exhibitors go off and sh do fairs. Some exhibitors, this and region, are their only show. So it's a really great thing that the state of Tennessee put this together. At least to me, being a sheep showman means you love hard work. You know, I'll spend a minimum two hours a day outside. And they even reaches up to maybe six sometimes, you know, whether it's cleaning out pens or working them outside or even running them down the road. Uh, that being said, at least, at least for me, it's, it's brought me a lot of work ethic. I can, you know, spend all day on a project and not feel tired about it. At least for me, and at least in, in a job world, that means that'll do me a ton of good. And for anyone who wants to do sheep, I think, that's a quality that they'll love to have. It's going to be an opportunity for these kids to develop responsibility skills, uh, dedication to a project, seeing a project through, coming and exhibiting the project to uh, exhibitors all across the state, and learning some things that no matter what profession or career they choose in their lifetime, they'll understand what work ethic being uh, dedicated to a project and seeing a project through, and that, that speaks volumes. Yeah, I think it's really important that we were, in, and good, that we were able to go ahead and continue and have some of these sheep shows. At the same time, I think the concern was founded, and there were things that needed to be worked out before we could put these into place. And, and obviously, where some state shows are and, and, and different situations, they just couldn't happen. Um, luckily, our, our Indiana State Fair was able to go on. Uh, this show was able to go on, as were many others. And, and I'm really glad that those kids who invested in those projects and put in that hard work and effort um, got to do it, and got to do it once programs were put in place to make sure that these could happen safely. For me, it's a lifestyle. There's a lot of people just show, go home, go back to daily life. When I go home, I go back and work my lambs. It's a lifestyle. You, I mean, once you start, you can't quit, in my opinion. I mean, I love it. I'd, I'd, I'd not, rather do nothing else in the world. And our thanks to Jerome Lanier for that story. A lot of hard work and dedication from our youth and their families at the Junior Sheep Expo.